International Management Institute was established at Delhi in 1981 in collaboration with IMD Lausanne. From its inception in 2010, International Management Institute Kolkata has been supported by the RP Sanjeev Goenka Group, the Kolkata-based business conglomerate. IMI Kolkata uh, with experience from the IMI Delhi, support from the RPSG group and continuous innovation to develop and disseminate knowledge and deep industry interface has been becoming the choice for students from all over India. Our unique practice-led pedagogy where our research active faculty members interface with the industry to bring real world to the classroom has been one of the unique distinguishing features of IMI Kolkata and it has been appreciated by the industry uh, which is reflected in our student achievements. Well, I was reading this newspaper, the business newspaper today and even yesterday when I was going through Mint, there were three questions that came to my mind which I felt as students of business management, you ought to know. The first part is of course business management you should know, but what about the economy? So maybe in today's lecture a class, we are going to discuss three major issues. The one is, is the emerging economies or is India for that matter decoupled? The second one is for India, we have probably more concerns than hopes. And the third one, will the Main Street trump the Wall Street? IMI Kolkata begins its journey from the heart of Kolkata with a state-of-the-art campus. As a part of our admission policy, we are looking at good students on a pan-India basis apart from the boundaries of Eastern India. With a legacy of 33 years in academic excellence of IMI Delhi and the active support of RP Sanjeev Goenka Group, we are poised for growth and a potential for being one of the top business schools in Eastern India. With a strong support from the industry, IMI Kolkata is imparting managerial lessons to tomorrow's business leaders shaping brilliant minds and equipping them with the skills to lead organizations IMI Kolkata and its group of eminent faculty members devote themselves to the task of building a pool of next generation entrepreneurs managers and business leaders when we look at the corporate world we normally see there is a specific need for organizational behavior. In this IMI Kolkata, we are strongly focused on organizational behavior because we feel that it is a significant part for developing leadership within our students. In organizational behavior, we do not teach only the theoretical aspect. We here, we teach the practical side of the leadership. It is not only the classroom teaching. We believe in uh, developing team. We believe in group dynamics. We develop the leadership skills within our students by developing their emotional intelligence. At IMIK, we use the conventional as well as the contemporary approach when it comes to pedagogy. And because we want our students to be good decision makers, and uh, the biggest takeaway for a student from IMIK will be uh, the integrity and the good uh, value system that they have. Hi, as a professor of marketing, I really feel that apart from everything else, the reality pedagogy really seems to work with the students. Um, if you engage them enough to think more laterally, uh, think of contemporary issues in marketing, uh, I think they're more prepared to face the world. Um, like uh, from my experience as a sales and marketing professional and also as a professor of marketing, I've always invariably come across two sets of people, one who would swear by 
marketing and there would be another one who would say, what marketing, come on. Um, and I really cannot disagree with either of them. Uh, so when um, you have to market uh, things in a world uh, where you have more cars than drivers, um, more phone numbers than takers, more uh, televisions than viewers, uh, how do you market? Marketing is just not enough. So when students come up with perspectives on unmarketing, uh, thinking more laterally in terms of rethinking their marketing strategy, it really um, enthralls me as a facilitator. I really feel happy when students come up with such uh, innovative ideas to market, to engage people, to uh, talk about relationship marketing, where customer actually chooses you on their own. Students of IMI learn how to link the traditional methods of learning communication with the present day communication techniques. The, the methods which have enabled them today through technology, the, the communication technology is something which they have to learn and they have learned it well along with what the traditional theories of, of communication is. Because today it's not just making technical jargon-like subjects or uh, material simple, it is also taken to be, communication is taken to be part of business itself. The essence of business today is communication. When we look at the Indian economic situation, this reminds us of the balance of payment crisis in the 90s. Uh, we have a current account deficit to GDP ratio which is very high, which is unprecedented. We also have an import cover of less than seven months. Steps are being taken, but what I feel is that we have, we should have some more long-term measures, uh, like export promotion. We should focus on, and re on the import side, we have gold, gold imports, which is, which I think is very unproductive, and uh, uh, just cutting or reducing the uh, this demand for imports is very important for us. Increasing the tariff in this way can be a short-term or medium-term measure, but not the long-term. We have to think about that. Marketing is all about responsibilities and sensibilities. New Age marketing offers and requires some sensibilities from the corporate and we at IMI Kolkata try to teach our students that sensibilities are of different nature. For example, at the bottom of the pyramid, you have a lot of opportunities, but do we remember that there are so many sensibilities and responsibilities for the corporate? Here at, here at IMI Kolkata, marketing is a mantra that we teach. So finally, we have the Companies Bill 2012, replacing the very old Companies Act 1956. In this Companies Bill, different steps, several steps have been taken care of. And I think one of the most important aspects in the new Companies Bill is the establishment of National Financial Reporting Authority. In the next few sessions, we will be discussing about option pricing techniques and option Greeks. Okay. However, before we get into option pricing, we need to understand that how do stock prices behave? What is the process which stock prices follow? The state-of-the-art infrastructure of IMI Kolkata campus is truly unparalleled in Eastern India. Centrally air-conditioned classrooms are equipped with the latest audiovisual teaching aids and high-speed internet connection. Library is well stocked with books, journals and software. The residential block houses single occupancy hostel rooms for students. A modern gym and indoor games are also there to take care of the body and soul of these future leaders. IMI as a corporate B school have given me an atmosphere of challenges as well as opportunities. In the case of challenges, the rigorous presentations, uh, case study analysis, the quizzes, exams have, have molded me to leverage these challenges into an opportunity. And this opportunity that I found when I got into summer internship in Siemens. 
I did my summer internship with Maruti Suzuki India Limited. Being an MBA student and taking up marketing as my specialization, my summer internship helped me a lot. It helped not only in uh, building up my analytical skills, but also helped me in thinking out of the box. Since I was in the international marketing department and my project was on the African uh, market, uh, looking up at the feasibility of Maruti Suzuki's passenger vehicles in the African market, it helped me in understanding how international business is done. We have a course of international business in our uh, course outline. So what I learned in Maruti Suzuki, I could understand better while I studied the international business course. So in a way, it was very helpful to me. Placement of its students in reputed organizations has always been the prime thrust in IMI Kolkata. For the last two years, it has uh, been our fervent desire to place our students in uh, renowned, reputed multinational companies you know, of India. Uh, of course, uh, we have been ensuring that we put our best students in front of the industry. And uh, for that, what we do is uh, we try to ensure our uh, academic, uh, ensure uh, the quality of uh, our students through our uh, academic rigor and through industry interactions. In the past uh, two years, we have witnessed a number of uh, big uh, multinationals participate and recruit our students, uh, multinationals including Nestle, uh, in, including Bank of America, um, uh, HUL, and uh, I uh, fervently believe that uh, this will continue to take place in the years to come, and our students are definitely not going to let them down. The pre-placement talks are arranged in the campus for a free-flowing interaction between recruiting companies and the aspiring students. Currently, I'm placed in Everready Industries India Limited. I have been assigned as area sales manager, for which they have designed in three stints. The first was the sales stint, which I performed in Chennai. There are many job responsibilities and barriers which I faced, mainly the language. Secondly, I'm right now the product manager or the marketing stint, which I am handling in Kolkata. IMI Kolkata not only gave me a platform to build in confidence and to build the self-esteem part which, I'm, which I used not only in Chennai but in marketing stint as well right now in Kolkata. My college IMI had provided me this network of getting attached to my dream company Hindustan Unilever and I am very thankful to IMI to having linked me to a company like Hindustan Unilever. Being a member of the first batch, it feels pride that you are a brand ambassador for your institute. Wherever you go, you always, your institute name always carries. So, while being a member of the first batch, there was no alumni, there was nothing. But the th one thing was that I have a faith in Amai Kolkata, in my education, and the backbone of Amai Kolkata is Amai Delhi education, which is completely awesome. The first batch of students were recruited by leading corporate houses like PwC, HUL, CESC and many others. We have seen that until there is a close relationship between the management institutes and the industries, the actual implications and practical importance of management education cannot be felt. Neither the real you know, feedback can also be obtained. So in order to do that, since I have a long experience in the banking industry, I'm trying to fill this void and creating an industry-institution relationship. Located within a pristine academic ambience, life in IMI Kolkata has always been a fun. Students get an ample chance to develop and flourish themselves through regular contact with eminent guest speakers, faculty members, debates and co-curricular activities. There is a very well-known concept in organizational behavior literature which actually talks about open innovation which emphasizes on using the knowledge pool for innovations and inventions of organizations and firms. So at IMI, we are also using the same concept as we believe in the concept of open innovation since at individual level, most of the faculties are working with outside universities, universities which are abroad, 
and also with uh, in collaboration with other firms and organizations to come up with very good and important researches which has huge contribution in the area of uh, different firms and organizations as well as in the institutional level. IMI Kolkata devotes itself to produce socially sensitive, globally aware and value-driven individuals with an aspiration that they will lead the business, industry and society in the future.